Hey guys, it's me Nisi from Spoil Me Nisi, back with another video. Uh, tonight I am reviewing A Teacher Episode 8, which um, aired this morning at 12 o'clock uh, a.m. on Hulu. Just a super brief summary of the, of the show, just in case if you're watching and you haven't gotten into the show just yet. Um, it's a super uncomfortable, super interesting show about a a 30 something year old married teacher that begins to have a very inappropriate and sexual relationship with her um student who is you know around 17 18 years old um it becomes super messy super um just uncomfortable to watch in in some cases um and um the relationship ends up going downhill she told someone that you know, she had a relationship with the student, you know, um, they told the authorities and um, she ended up going to jail um, for a very short period of time and um, also ended up destroying some lives in the process. Um, so that's a, a really, really brief summary of the show. If you haven't gotten into it, um, you know, please do just note that you might be a little uncomfortable at times. Um, but um, it certainly is a good watch. Very, very interesting. Um, so tonight's episode um, is is uh, pretty much winding down. You know, um, these episodes are really short. They're about 20 minutes, which um, is a little bit of upsetting, but good in a sense because it definitely builds up that, you know, that want or desire to see the next episode. You just want to know what happens next. Um, so this episode kind of, you know, lets us know, well, it does let us know what ended up happening after uh, Claire turned herself into the authorities. You know, um, the episode starts off with her uh, sitting, you know, waiting for someone to pick her up. Um, she apparently did some time in prison. And um, she has on one of those um, ankle bracelets, I guess, um, like the house arrest bracelet. She has one of those on her ankles. Um, her brother, her police officer brother and her dad, um, are the people that come to, you know, pick her up. They welcome her with very open arms. You know, it seems very, very welcoming. You can tell they love her. Um, and you can definitely tell at first, at least that she does have some, uh, uh, support from them. Now, um, as you would know, if you've been watching from previous episodes, um, she does have a bad history with her dad because of his history with alcohol um, and the impact that that had on her life. Um, so she wasn't necessarily happy to see her dad, but you can tell he's pretty compassionate towards her because, you know, he's made some mistakes in his life and now she's making some mistakes in hers as well. Um, so... Um, she ends up going to her brother's house who has a wife and kids, you know, and he opens up his door to let her stay there. You know, all seems good at the beginning of the episode. Claire actually looks great. She doesn't look like a woman that just got out of prison. You know, um, she looks good. You know, she sleeps, showers, does her hair. You know, she looks like the old Claire, you know, fresh out the big house. And, um... You know, her brother tells her, like, you know, my wife is okay with you being here, but you have to get a job, which I can't blame her. You know, they're all adults. You know, she has to work. Um, and um, Claire goes for it. You know, she goes to one of her favorite clothing stores, and um, she just so happened to have a conversation with another um, customer in the store. And one of the associates of the store liked what she had to say about their, um, I guess, yoga pants or something. And she offers her an application. You know, things are looking up at that point. You know, she's looking good, you know, being offered an application. You know, she pretty much has this job in the bag. This lady seems like she might be a manager of some sort. And, um, you know, Claire pretty much had it in the bag until she ran into an old uh, quote unquote friend or not so much a friend. Um, she ran into Logan's mom, excuse me for not remembering this lady's name, um, but um, she aired her out. She let everyone know she is a sexual predator. She cannot work here, you know, and um, Claire pretty much let her know, like, you know, I did my time, you know, I'm just trying to get on with my life. And Logan's mom just was not having it. You know, she aired her out so bad that Claire ended up running out of that store, ran to her car and she was in tears. 
you know, and that was um, definitely an eye opening part of the episode, you know, because the episode certainly starts off on a high point. You know, she's going for jogs, she's making herself look and feel, you know, like normal again, things are looking up and then it all came crashing down. Like, dude, you just got out of jail for, you know, um, having sex with a minor, you know, um, abuse, you know, negligence. Um, one thing that I thought was interesting about that episode is that um, she told before Logan's mom aired her out, um, she was going to ask the lady that worked in the store, you know, how their background check goes because she has a tiny misdemeanor on her record. I thought that was interesting because, um, you know, even though, you know, I, I don't know, I have like a love hate relationship with Claire, you would think that for the kind of relationship that she had with Eric, that she would have gotten at least more time in jail or maybe, I don't know, a, a harder, a harder charge. You know, um, she was given what she described as a tiny misdemeanor. Um, so I thought that that was interesting. Um, so, you know, she goes back home, you know, you know, to her brother's house, you know, and you can see that his wife is not happy to have her there. She's not welcome there. Um, you know, it's, it seems like it's more of like a charity case. You know, the wife is just doing it for her husband's sake, but she really doesn't want her there. You know, her, her brother's wife doesn't even want her around her kids. You know, and I thought that that was interesting as well because, you know, um, Claire is kind of facing the truth of what she did. You know, um, she is a sexual predator. You know, um, she may not see herself that way because, yeah, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, Eric did come on to her, but he was a minor and she's the adult. And in the end, you know, she has to hold that bag. And she definitely found that out this episode because, you know, now that she's out, you know, she has to deal with how the world is going to view her and the world views her as a criminal, you know, as a sexual predator, as someone that you cannot trust around children, you know? So, um, you slowly see, you know, her, her changing as the episode goes on because the truth is kind of, you know, slapping her in the face, you know? Um, she has this conversation with her brother and his wife and, you know, things get really heated, you know? His wife gets angry and walks off. Claire gets really angry with his wife, you know? And um, whereas her brother has been very um, supportive for of her all this time, you know, he kind of breaks down it and gives her the truth, you know, and lets her know, you know, you've hurt everyone. You destroyed Eric's life. That poor kid, you know, you destroyed your husband's life. He's holding on by a thread, you know, and not to mention, you know, she kind of, you know, messed up what her brother has going on. He's a police officer and, you know, he had to get some of the heat from her decisions as well, you know? Um, so it is, uh, very uh interesting to see that you know it's no joke what she did <laughs> you know even though her intentions might not have been to hurt all these people and she makes that very clear um her intentions were pretty much just to feel free and do what she wanted to do and be bad for once and you know her intentions were never to hurt anyone but even though those were not her intentions she did hurt everyone and it's all kind of coming out in this video um so Later on in the episode, um, uh, Claire worried me a little bit. You know, she she's laying down in bed and she gets a text and it's Eric. And I'm really not surprised that it was Eric because last episode he kind of broke down that he missed her. You know, I personally believe he has a little Stockholm syndrome. So I'm not surprised that he texted her and um, he lets her know, like, I you know, I want to see you. Where are you? And... Next thing you know, he's knocking on a door. And whose door is it? Her brother's house. Claire lets Eric into his house. Claire ceases to amaze me. Um, she's the queen of bad decisions. <laughs> Watching this show will certainly give you an anxiety attack because it's just like, why, Claire? Why? Why see him at all? <laughs> you know? Um, so she lets him in and um, he breaks down, you know? Um, Eric is in a very weak and vulnerable state, you know, um, it seems like Claire really, that relationship with her, you know, it might've brought, you know, 
them what they might have thought was happiness, but it really destroyed that kid. And he's in a situation where it's like he cannot function and he feels as though he can't function without her. You know, he's, he seems to be, you know, in love with her. And it's really sad to see because she is not in love with him. You know, she doesn't say, she hasn't said once to anyone that, you know, she was in love with him or anything like that. It's more so, I want to be free, I want to be free. But he is madly in love with that woman. You know, she just lets him know, like, you know, we were an escape for each other, you know, and um, pretty much a reality check for him. So many reality checks in this episode, you know, a reality check for him, letting him know like, hey, you know, she does not love you, you know, and it kind of hit him like a log, you know, and, you know, she just basically let him know, like, forget about me, go live your life, you know, be a kid, you know, when he walks out and he leaves. Um, I was actually really happy that she did that. I feel like she should have done that a long time ago. Um, and he leaves. And I'm really interested to see what happens between the two of them after that, after that situation. Somehow, I don't think that they're going to be able to stay away from each other, which is kind of sad. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, the interesting thing about this episode also is that she left her brother's house, which I'm actually happy that she did because she was clearly not wanted there. Um, but she went to her dad's house, um, which can be a little bit tricky because, of you know, Claire is starting to accept the fact of what she did. And it seems like she's trying to do better or make up for it. But I kind of get the vibe that she's going to stay with her dad to just kind of face, face him because a part of her does blame her childhood and how her dad raised her on the decisions that she's made. You know, um, so it is interesting to see that while she's accepting what she what she did, you know, and accepting the fact that she can't use the excuse that he kissed her first and that he came on her first anymore. No, you know, she's holding the bag. She's the adult and she's to blame for everything. Um, you know, I find it interesting that now she's going to live with her dad because she did use, you know, him as an excuse. So I am very excited to see you know, where that goes, her relationship with her dad and, you know, how all of that unfolds. So, um, all in all, of course, I think this was a great episode. You know, um, like I said earlier in this video, you know, yes, the show is very uncomfortable to watch, but I do think that the writers of the show, um, are doing a really good job with it. They're doing a really good job showing the effects of what they did, showing, you know, um, the abuse factor in their actions. Um, and I think that this is a show that definitely needed to, you know, um, happen because these things certainly do happen. Um, so yeah, if you haven't gotten into this show yet, I do suggest you do it. Just a disclaimer, just, you know, <laughs> get ready to be super uncomfortable. Um, and you know, it might seem like they're romanticizing the show in, you know, their relationship in beginning episodes, but just note that as you go along, they're not, they're certainly showing how horrible these situations are. And, um, I can't wait to see how everything turns out. Me personally, um, I hope that they end up going on about their business and going separate ways, but somehow, I don't know, those two have a certain energy between each other. Um, I, my theory is that in the end, they're going to end up together, but, um, you know, I can't wait to see. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, uh, please like and, sus and subscribe. Um, I'll be making another video about this, of course, um, when episode nine comes out, God willing. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great night. Bye-bye.